Hey everybody, welcome to Life with Gwen and Joe. The holiday season is upon us. We're blessed that you're here with us. The theme to our show today is Narnia. Gather families near. Life with God Down is so good. So come join us on this fun life where we put God in the center of everything. Just like Joe said, it's the beginning of the holiday season. In our tradition here, before the manger and all that, we start with Narnia early on, even before December, to stretch out the time a little bit. And so what we've been doing today is decorating Narnia. All the kids came over. We have music going, Christmas music going, and Bible reading, and it's just a beautiful, beautiful time. So Narnia was written by C.S. Lewis, and this story is about something a whole lot deeper. So our decorations have a meaning behind them and what we do with these meaningful holiday events mm -hmm. is we pass it down to the children. Okay, so kids, how many of y'all remember the story of Narnia? You remember the story of Narnia? Raise your hands high. You remember it too? You don't remember it? Okay, so that's why we keep telling this story every year and decorating this up. And y'all did such a good job decorating Narnia. What I want to tell you is that this whole thing is about the kingdom of God. The Lion and the Witch in the Wardrobe was written by C.S. Lewis. And there is a whole theme that he has of the children finding the kingdom of God through that wardrobe. And they walk through the doors and in, on the other side, there's this whole different kingdom in there. And inside there was the witch and the lion was in there. And the lion represents God and also the witch represents evil. And so it's, it's kind of a scary, it's a scary uh, thing to walk in. But when you open up the doors and you crawl through, you're crawling through into a whole different world. And this different world is the kingdom of God. And the kingdom of God is what exists where you can't really see it, but you know you're in it and you start learning the people in it and you start learning the adversaries. And so that's why Jesus talked about the kingdom of God a lot. Once having been asked by the Pharisees when the kingdom of God would come, Jesus replied, the kingdom of God does not come with your careful observation, nor will people say, here it is, or there it is, because the kingdom of God is within you. So, you're not gonna be able to say, here it is, there's the kingdom of God. You can't point to it because you can't see it. It's like a, it's a whole nother realm. Like you can probably see it better when you close your eyes than when you open them. But the kingdom of God is not a place that you just travel to in a car or by plane. It is within you. So it's a piece of like getting inside of you and then you and God Jesus said that if you love me and if you obey me, that, that the Father and I will come and dwell within you. So that's why we pray, that's why we meditate, because you've got to get still to open up the doors of Narnia and walk in. And then the next thing you know, you're learning how to fight spiritual battles. And then you can go out in the day and you realize Hey, the, here's, here's the world and here's the people in the world, but I gotta keep in tune because I'm in the middle of the kingdom of God while I'm in the middle of the world. Does it make you want to be like more involved in God's kingdom and learn more about it? Do you have any questions? Hey, Charles Grantham. What is an adversary? An adversary is the enemy and it's evil enemy, and it's the bad guys. And Satan is the bad guy in the form of that evil witch. And she was always trying to lock up everybody and freeze them. Did you see that in Narnia? She would freeze them so that they can't get out and they can't move. And so she was tempting to be in a bad mood and to be bad and to steal and to cheat. And uh, that's what causes you to get frozen where you can't get out and you can't function. So to stay away from getting frozen, 
You've got to have the Spirit of Christ in you. You have to be kind and good and gentle and faith, have faithfulness and uh, generosity. And you have to have self-control. Those things keep you from getting frozen by that evil witch. <laughs> hey, Gloria. Uh, what is the Pharisees? The Pharisees, oh, good question. The Pharisees were always trying to trap Jesus. That was a trick question. You know, where is this kingdom? Because they thought it was gonna be on earth and they were gonna go in and kill everybody that was gonna be a part of it. But the fact is, is that the Pharisees could never get in to this kingdom because you can't enter it unless you're born again. So they can't get in there to go and annihilate anybody. So you're protected inside there as long as your heart is pure. The kingdom of God is not here or there. It is within you. Father God, may your kingdom come. May your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. We praise your holy name. In I Jesus' name. Children One of the most amazing things to me about Christmas time Christmas is that you kind of get to live vicariously through the kids, decorating the Christmas tree, cooking the cookies and baking things and playing. We have kitty cats and puppy dogs running around here and they get to uh, just anticipate all the wonderful things about Christmas. We want to thank you for joining us in one of our family traditions called Narnia. We hope you and your family uh, get the most out of all the blessings that come with this time of year. We're looking forward to seeing you next time. Christmas time has come for thee. I remember dreaming, wishing, hoping, praying for this day. Now I sit the and wonder is good. Oh, no! what made me go away. Christmas time and live our lives so we can shine. Christmas time has come. There will be joys for everyone. Be sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and click the bell so you are notified when we have a new video. Christmas time has come. There will be joys for everyone. Christmas time has come.